welcome back to another episode of Shanae Meets World, the global community that discusses everything travel, business, and international life. We are on our way to becoming digital nomads. Today, we're talking about how not to be a digital nomad. First off, let me just explain. A digital nomad is an individual who lives a location independent lifestyle while also earning an income. If you want to be a digital nomad like me, then let me tell you what not to do. There are a series of steps that you'll have to take when it comes to preparing yourself for becoming a digital nomad. Although it sounds like something that is easy, there's still preparation involved. Pay attention to everything that I'm about to share with you because I want to make sure that you get yourself set up on the right step so that you can make this a sustainable lifestyle and not something that you just crash and burn because you weren't prepared. So let's get prepared together. The first thing is do not doubt yourself. You can't doubt yourself because nine times out of 10, you may be the only person in your circle that has this desire, unless you're a part of a friend group or a Facebook group where you all have the same interests. Nine times out of 10, you are the only one in your circle that wants this type of lifestyle. People may not understand and that's okay. So you can't doubt yourself. You have to be prepared and trust that the way you are feeling about how you wanna live your life and the lifestyle that you wanna create is valid and go for it, test it out, find out if it's for you or not. Even when people doubt you, trust yourself because at the end of the day, they may not even understand or have the vision of becoming a digital nomad and that is okay because everybody has their way of living and the lifestyle that they want to create and when we overthink things we tend to stop ourselves to avoid failure remove fear and just go the second tip do not leave without money saved or a plan mapped out I recommend researching the exchange rate of the place where you want to move. You can also Google the cost of living. This will give you a general idea of how much it costs for rent per month, how much groceries tend to cost, how much transportation tends to cost, and the process of getting an apartment that is furnished versus unfurnished. Those are some of the things that you can find in a Google search. You can also join Facebook groups and that's huge right now. There are so many Facebook groups dedicated to becoming an expat, moving abroad, and you can connect with so many resources and people that are already doing what you want to do. And you can connect with them and just to pick their brain and gain expertise on what it's like to live there. This is going to help you prepare for saving money. So once you have an idea of how much it is you want to bring with you, it should make you more comfortable and confident in the, in the decision because that's one of the main reasons why people cannot sustain a digital nomad lifestyle is because they run out of money. That ties into having a plan. It's nice to be able to travel around the world and work on the beach in a cafe the bottom line is, as nice as that, that sounds, it still requires a lot of work and effort. You want to have a plan mapped out. What type of business are you planning to have? Do you already have it set up? Or are you going to, going to be working for another company when you move? You want to have an idea of what it is that you want to achieve from this digital nomad experience and what is going to help sustain this lifestyle. So that's why it's always important to map out a plan as you are deciding and preparing for this lifestyle. In order to map out a plan, the first thing you'll want to do is choose one or more goals that you would like to achieve by becoming a digital nomad. This is your why. So it's very important to think hard about your why. What is it that you want to achieve? Who do you want to become as a result of being a digital nomad? Because trust and believe the experience will change you. 
your why is what is going to help sustain this lifestyle when things don't go as planned. So that's why this is important. Pick one or more goals and make sure that you keep those with you every step of the way. Hello, online entrepreneur. Do not leave your home country without setting up your business structure. Remember, you are working online. So you have to have established a registered business in whichever state you live in and also a business bank account so that you can actually conduct transactions with your account wherever you are in the world. Unless you decide to set up your business structure in the country where you're planning to move. And this could work because a lot of people do this in order to gain residency because that's one of the access points to gaining re residency is by setting up a business. So this is a recommendation to you if you decide that you want to set up your business in your home country, that's a great idea. And if you want to decide that you want to set up in the country where you're planning to move, this could help lead you into residency opportunities. That way you don't have to leave the country every so often for a visa run. This one may hurt some of y'all feelings, but I'm gonna have to let you know. Do not arrive in your host country full of ignorance. Let me tell you what I mean by this one. There are some things that you have to know before you go. <laughs> language. What's the national language? What's the local language? What are some popular foods? What's the majority religion of the country? The time zone the country is in and also the average exchange rate from your currency to that currency. Coupled with these basic elements, you also do not want to underestimate the power of observation. Now, the basic elements that I just mentioned, those are going to just kind of lay the foundation, give you a general idea of what it is that you're stepping into when you move to this new country. The next thing you want to do is when you get to the country is observe and observe through every sense. You want to eat the food, experience the music, experience the sounds of the markets, listen to the language, watch people walk, watch people laugh, watch people communicate with each other, watch how they greet each other, watch how people interact when they're at the market, at the grocery store. Although at times you may not feel like a local, this is what's going to help you connect with people is when you actually take time and observe the experience, observe the moment and be there. You are there to work and you also are there to enjoy life. And so observation is really going to pull you into those experiences that will really help shape your life and shape your perceptions of the world. This is a big one. Do not have expectations. People get so caught up on expectations and how this should go like A, B, C. And sometimes that's just not the case. And you have to be flexible. This is what's going to help sustain the lifestyle. You have to be flexible. And the one thing I learned, even through my Peace Corps experience, they always taught us, don't go with expectations because the second you have expectations and those expectations come into conflict with something else that is going to break your entire experience be flexible when you are making plans to become a digital nomad and when you arrive in your host country remember to be flexible because this is a new experience and you have to take it as it is and not how you want it to be did i miss anything i covered a lot today here is how not to be a digital nomad. Do not doubt yourself. Do not leave home without money or a plan mapped out. Do not leave home without setting up your business structure. Do not arrive in your host country full of ignorance. Do not underestimate the power of observation and do not have expectations. If you are a digital nomad or you want to be one, drop a comment of a globe or just say hey tell us about your experience tell us where you are in this phase if you are a vet then encourage all of us wannabes now let's work on building this digital nomad lifestyle together until next time bye